Okay, today I'm turning everyday objects into instruments. So in order to do this, I'm using something called a makey makey. And here's how it works. So to complete the circuit, I'm standing on some aluminum foil. So my aluminum foil is connected to this wire here. This is the ground. And then all the other ones are connected to these up here, which are the different arrows or space or click on the keyboard. Okay, to show you how these work, I'm using a really simple setup with something called snap circuits. These are mainly sold to kids, but I really like them because it makes circuits really simple and easy to understand. Okay, so in this simple circuit, I have a transistor and I have an LED light. So in order for this LED light to turn on, electricity has to flow around in a circle like this. But it can't do that right now. What the transistor does is it's like a gate. It opens up and it lets electricity flow through it so that the LED light can turn on. So in order to open that gate, what you have to do is change the voltage on there. And you can do that just by touching it. But notice that I have to be touching over here on this end also. So if I, if I touch both of these ends, it changes the voltage right there and it opens up the gate and it lets electricity flow. So basically the same setup here, if I connect a banana to it and I touch here and then touch a banana, I can turn on the light too. So the Makey Makey is just an elaborate version of this except instead of turning on a light, I have it connected to my computer and it plays a little piano on there or some other music. Okay, and now Mary had a little lamb. And now for a sentence you've probably never heard said is I'm going to play Billie Jean with a houseplant and a lettuce leaf. Okay, the houseplant will play Michael Jackson vocals and the lettuce will play the drums. I almost had it. Do you okay. Want me to do one? <laughs> yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing. And you can comment in the comment section with what you'd like to see me do next time, and I'll see you next time.